Hi guys, Bricknut here. I've uh, got a little bit of an update for you. And uh, this being one of them. But before I get to that, I found this in Sainsbury's on offer. So um, I couldn't resist it. It was $14.99, I think. If I had the cash, I would have got another one just for the parts as they were you know so cheap um, at the moment i don't have the spare cash unfortunately um so that's something I'm, i don't know which one i'm going to build first i'll decide that when i get it open uh, and just quickly before i get to my um, new storage thing i've got the three technic sets i bought recently all up here I did go back, as you can see, and get another one of these sets. Uh, so, there will be th um, reviews of those coming up soon. Because uh, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to make a mounting for this camera. So it will give me a bird's eye view up there. Or give you a bird's eye view, I should say. I don't know if it's going to work. And I'll only try it with the one review first and if no one likes it then I won't do it anymore but uh, we'll see how it goes uh, oh and uh, in the last video when I said I hadn't done anything on my Lego town I forgotten that I actually had I thought I'd done an update on this but I hadn't I've um, as you can see got the road right up to the end of the table finished the table so I could take it all the way up the end and uh, Added some street lights. I ran out of grey, so I had to make some in white. Um, I don't think these street lights will be permanent anyway, because I don't really like them. They're very simple. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll keep those. Uh, what have I got? A different. I just realised I've got two different corner pieces there. It would look better if I had all of the same style, but these road plates are so expensive. I just kind of sort of uh, may do with what I had. If I can get some in the future, I will. But for now, it works. Anyway, the main thing I want to talk about was this. I got this out of Lidl today. It was the last one. Uh, and it was reduced price. So I'm just getting rid of the stock. Um, I'm just going to swap hands because my hand is aching. Oh, this is quite a heavy camera. But what I decided to do with this is sort all my windows and doors out into this. And I've got probably about 98% of them in here. Uh, so we'll start at the top and we've got in here some vintage doors. Didn't realise I actually had that many till I put them in here. Some more vintage doors. Then I go into sorting these windows. So I've got red and white ones together in that one. These are the three stud wide. Ah, sorry about that. I'll try again. Three stud wide windows, as you can see. And then we go in at the four stud, just the white, and four stud red. Too many to get into one drawer, so I separated those into the colours. Uh, these are the six wide ones. These are the six wide ones, and I think these are three tall. And we've got these um, little um, panel pieces with windows, and I've just seen there's one in there that shouldn't be in there, but I'll move that later. And then continuing with the vintage windows, we've got these ones, the um, two stud wide ones. Red, white, red, yellow, and we've just got a few misc pieces in there. And that's basically how I sorted. it. Then the drawers below that are this style, sorted by colour, uh, including the um, slope ones. I've got the larger panel pieces with windows there, and I've got the transparent ones there and there in both sides. Sorted windows there. 
and on this one I've got the older style five brick high windows here followed by the newer style six um, tall ones and some more in black and grey and some window pieces there some other various window pieces there doors some more doors some more doors more doors my roller doors are up here my large panel doors are up there and the old lego basic style windows are all there and there and there and then from there down to the bottom is empty drawer and i've got four empty drawers over here the bottom three and that one not sure what i'm going to put in those yet but uh we'll see so i've got to find a home for that up here now i think i'll have to rearrange this area here not sure how <laughs> Uh, yeah, gonna have to do some thinking on that. I think. Careful. Same one every time. He always knocks that one off. But actually, I don't think that broke this time. It has broken in the past, but it hasn't broken this time. You want to come up and say hello? Did you? Well, sell hell. Say hello to everyone in YouTube land. My little cat Zilla that keeps knocking things off in my uh, little town. Well, that transmitter's not going to stay there. I just stood it over there out of my way. Because it was laying over there. I'm not sure I'm going to put that yet. Oh. And I am going to do a lighting upgrade in this lounge as well. Because I've got a fluorescent light on the ceiling. And that doesn't do white Lego particularly a lot of good. Um, because of the UV from fluorescent lights it can make the Lego fade and go that horrible colour especially the white brick so I've got a light fitting down there I've got to put up and I'm going to put LED bulbs in that one like I've got up there and there <laughs> and I will have better lighting for the videos because I've got spotlights there so yay right that is it for the video, I think. So, uh, yep. I haven't forgotten anything. Um, I didn't get chat. I wanted to build that large Technic set up, which is on the chair over there. Um, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I've just got to swap hand again. I'll get, yeah, I'll start on that tomorrow. I'll try and get this one done tonight. I don't know if I'll bother building all three. I might have a go at building all three. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. I think Nemo wants cuddles, so I'm going to have to end the video. <laughs> Give him his cuddles. Bless him. Oof, he's molten. Look at that. Did you see all that fluff fly off of him? Right. Thanks for watching. And, uh,. I'll talk to you again, hopefully, very soon. Bye-bye. Uh,